Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. I'm Scott. Board here. Back to an old standard Glen Fittick 12, but it's Sherry Cask 12. And my most popular manga shirt. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to test it. Glen Fittick style. Ooh, it's a bear, baby. It's like his inner, his inner soul, his inner animal, his spirit animal. <laughs> yeah, this is not the most popular, and the shirt is a little weird here, but I love, actually, this creature. It's not really even a bear. Enough said, probably. You don't even want to comment on it. It's very much explosive, though. This is I an explosive shirt. Act like it's not there. <laughs> Glenfiddich 12 Amontillado Sherry Cask. Wow. Monty I just Monty. noticed this on the shelf. I don't know if it's new or maybe it's been out. It's kind of one of those you scan past the the Glenfiddichs, the Glenlivets, you know, the the Dalmores. You're like, okay, where's the new stuff at? And I was like, what's this red tin yeah. wow. for Glenfiddich? Cardboard. 750 milliliter. I saw that. 750, baby. 750. 43% ABV. This vibrant single malt is matured for 12 years in American and European oak sherry casks wow. before finishing in Amontillado casks for a distinctly rich and refined depth of flavor. Now, I read that to mean that for 12 years, this all this whiskey has been in sherry casks, not some ex-bourbon and then finished in sherry. Really? Well, it says... Aged, matured for 12 years in American and European oak sherry casks before finishing in Amontillado casks. How is it matured in both American and European oak? Well, they've Just got the because they in take, and that, yeah. in this. Yeah. It's weird to me. Then they blend them together. Sound Merriam. Like Merriam. Would That's be a the good word. Yeah. Yeah. Blend. Blended family. Married. Married family. It's, it's one distillery, so the, the term would be married. Okay. Married. Um, You're right, because you got to stay away from the, the blended blend. term. Okay. Yeah. Married together. Got it. You're better on that than me. I guess I wouldn't have thought of that, but it should have been thought of. So they marry them together and so you're thinking this should be strong sherry then? really strong shit. Well, that, well, that's what 12 years, depending on how wet those casks are and if they're first fill, the color doesn't necessarily indicate that it's sherry rich. Does it say no color at I'm going to hazard a guess. Glenfiddich generally does add some color even. People get angry. Uh, it does not say natural yeah. color. It does, it does not, not say, say non-chill non -chill filter. filtered. Right, so you got to assume both. <clears throat> Yeah, okay. have that now. You get it out of there. Get sure it out. If you wanted it up. Kind of like so. The bear, baby. I, I've got to question that 12 years of exclusive sherry because it's not as dark as it should be. Okay. The sherry's not crawling out of there. I'm getting a little fruitiness, though. Nutty. I got a nuttiness right up there. Really? I thought I got a little cherry uh, rind. Okay. It's got, it's got, I mean, it's got sherry notes. It's darker. Cherries, dark cherries. Different nasal. It is burnt, amazing. Burnt caramels. Different nostril. You'll pick up different things. Not the usual lighter citrusy uh, Glenfiddich 12 nose. I didn't get anything uh, extra, so I went ahead and took cinnamon. Burnt toasted cinnamons. Um, it's interesting. On the open, it was a little slow to open. The finish, though, is very fruity honeysuckle. And what is that? Like a, uh, cream, like a thick cream soda. I don't know why thick. But I like, the, um, I like the finish. Ooh, lots of honey there in the trail out. Tons of honey. Oh, that's nice. I like the finish here. You're going to get like a... A burst of thick honey, like 15, 20 seconds. I'm still getting it. Oh, that's very, great. very light up front. It took a couple, two, three it seconds is. before yeah. I even really oh, started you did. tasting heavy it. Swishing. Heavy swishing. Swishing it around, getting it. I like to do that. Gets it into the gums. Swisher. Gets it Gets it the back of the tongue, the front of the tongue. I don't like to do all that. All that. Gets it everywhere. <laughs> all that. All that. I don't like to do all that. Um. Yeah, I mean, it's lighter. It's decent. It's pleasant. 
uh, cherry cola is what, as you were saying, cream soda and some of those notes, kind of a cherry cola came to mind. 43 is um, not doing me any favors. No. Um, 46 would have been nice. Because, man, there are some beautiful honeys on the finish there, but I'm not getting any berries at all. Sweeter berries. Yeah, um, I mean, that's, yeah. It's lighter. It's, it, that's why I've got a, it's hidden, maybe? this 12 years of exclusive sherry maturation in the Montiato. Mm -hmm. It should be a little bit more present yeah. than it is. It's not well, bad. A little more front and center. It's There's nothing bad. But yeah, it's center. not front and center. The honey I get in the finish is my favorite part. What is on the front? I'm going to try a little water and hope. In a little bit. I don't know. Huh. Mm. Um, toasted. I mean, there's a little bit of a richer, darker fruitiness here. Berries, raspberries, cherries. Yeah, toasted sure. cinnamons, caramels. Nutty, slight nuttiness, almost more nuttiness on the nose than there is on the palate. You want a little, little, yeah. little doubly do? Doubly do. Made it up. <laughs> a doobly do? A doobly <laughs> drop? I don't know. You know, I felt the need to make up a term. Yeah, that was made up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, you never know. Sometimes it works. And just in case, we have a magnifier now. <laughs> Hold on. What you need to do is take a gander at that shirt. Maybe you didn't look at it close enough. <laughs> Woo. Does it do, does eyes. it work through the camera? My oh, yeah. Eyes. Look at that. They can see the action. Wow. <laughs> it's a good shirt. No, it's yeah, not. It's, it's interesting. It's a little bit polyester is the only problem. The other ones are a little more silk screen. This one's a little more touch it. Don't hit the nipple. Gee, I knew it. I knew it. You were going to go right at it. <laughs> Might have caused the spillage. I haven't tried with the water yet. Mm -hmm. This, I mean this, I like it. It's an easy sipper. It's pleasant. It's almost more of a sherry finish. Slight sherry, like a like this was ten years in ex bourbon, two years mm. in a second fill two months. sherry casks. I feel like it's a two month finish with it. But still, I mean, it's still not bad. I had, I think, I had higher expectations. It's not bad. I don't like Glenfiddich. Yeah, decent whiskey. We did, uh, you know, we looked at Glenfiddich twelve early on. And then a few years ago, we went back and re-looked at some of those early bottles mm -hmm. to see how they did, and Glenfiddich 12 was one of them. Yeah. I like Glen. I, I like Glenfiddich. This just doesn't feel like anything special to me. No. And I exactly. think with all that verbiage on there, with all the words on there, I thought it was going to be a yeah. little something more. Mm, I thought a little something more. Little. I still didn't expect too much being 12 years, mm. um, 43%. Mm -hmm. And then I saw the color, which I didn't look at until we just took it out of the bottle mm -hmm. or out of the box. Somebody would be talking about uh, color. There are some folks that hate it. I don't, I don't mind, but mm -hmm. uh, given a preference, I prefer non-chill filter, no color added. Just because then you know you're getting the thing as it came out. But I don't even care if it's super pale. Compass Box and Isla Whiskeys teach you that color is not flavor. So, color is not flavor, Scott. Do you see what I'm doing? Touching my shirt. No. <laughs> trying to get you. You seem a little. I'm debating. Quiet. Not trying thinking, to pull yeah, out some flavor. No, I'm trying to think of my score here. Oh. I, I'm trying I wasn't to even thinking of mine. I was, keep, just, I, know. I was just talking. I was just talking nonstop. I like it. But you no, forgot we were reviewing a whiskey. Well, I was filling time, baby. <laughs> and I was seeing myself in the shirt and thinking that's a good shirt. Wear it more often. I got my score. 84. I'm just 86. Saying. Ooh. Real. How are we? How I'm do we always have that too? Well, well, I don't know. Like I was, I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking 86 you and really 84. Thinking and then you said it quick. It wasn't like you did math. We get, 
We it's just we it's so many times we have this right, two point two spread. Point. Yeah, well, some yeah. I'd say but, that's the key. I don't know. This one just I don't it, know. It's, it, it's a good whiskey. I like it. If I'm somebody just, gifted it at me, I wouldn't be at me. I wouldn't be mad. Like I've said, it's a it's an easy sipper. It it's, is. it's pleasing. Um, I expected a little bit more, but then, which I, I was like, is it an eighty three? Is it an eighty four? But I'm thinking overall, even though it. You let say, me it let me down a little bit. Right. It's still where is it on that scale of whiskey? And it's still that eighty six range. It's it's still good. You say sherry cast finish, and you say Amontillado. I want. I'm thinking. I want more. Yeah. I still love the bottle style. It's very uh -huh. easy to. Grab. I like. Yeah. Yep. Um, uh, let me check price real quick. Yeah, because think it's I know. special edition. Boom! When it says special edition, I also think it's going to be special. Price forty nine dollars. Uh, that's pretty good. Yeah, <laughs> I, was, I, I was thinking it was sixty. I was actually I was like, good. "Oh, that's a little cheaper than I thought." Um, yeah, for that, I mean, it's you can't. It's it, it's a good whiskey for forty nine dollars. I was watching some old movie that came out like the seventies or eighties, and it was funny. They were talking about like twelve dollar bottles of scotch, and I was like, "Oh my god, that would be nice." <laughs> you know, it was like there. It was like the blended stuff, but I was like, "Oh my god, what?" <laughs> so I was just watching last night. I watched Murder Mystery Two. Oh, I haven't Netflix. heard. I haven't heard of one. Jennifer Aniston, Adam Sandler. Ooh. They're, they're good. good. Yeah, they're good. Really? Both of them. Okay. Uh, but in the second one, they're at. Uh, the Maharaji's uh, wedding. Okay. Rich, a yeah. lot of money. He, they're gifting like Cartier earrings and mm. jewelry and stuff to people, you know, and they're. Mm. And, but then the one, the main characters is walking around with a bottle of bullet bourbon. Ooh, they loved it. God. But it's so, it was so out of place. Oh, okay. But that's why. I mean, you want this is like 20. Rent. Well, yeah, it's like a $20 bottle of sure. bourbon. But they can't. But they've got all this other stuff. Oh, so And it's kind of like. Boom. How much did Bullet pay to get uh, that placement? Well, yeah, that's true. <laughs> the Maharaji likes Bullet Bourbon. Yeah. Well, it wasn't the it wasn't the Maharaji. It was one of the other main characters. But yeah, yeah. it was like that's an odd place for a twenty dollar bottle it in, bourbon. Baby. Work it in. Yeah. Which of Bullet's not bad. No, I like Bullet. I like Bullet Rye. Most of those commercial, most of those shows, when you see someone, they're going to walk. They're going. They got like you know the Van Winkles or right. Blantons or right. I like Wellers Bullet. again. There, it's a beautiful time to go back and watch movies coming out in the 70s. There's some great movies, yeah. and it didn't feel like there was paid product placement. Hell yeah. So you, they would just like go grab something and be like, that's it, you know, and throw that in there. It's whatever the director liked or something. Yeah. And you get these things that you can tell it's like they don't, you know, it's not perfectly faced and then mm -hmm. gifted. And then you're like, ooh, Glenn Fittick? <laughs> Well, so yeah, a lot of times now they've got made up whiskey labels. Yeah, or they'll Unless they'll, they'll just pay. show like the backside of the yeah. bottle, and then that you, you can't tell. Oh, I know what. That is. Sometimes you can figure out what it is, but while we're on this, if you want something, this is a little weird for the channel, but on Netflix, if you want to watch something that's really different but really well written and developed, One Piece. Have you seen it? Like One Piece swimming suit. Well, yeah, but it's two words. It's called One Piece, and it is. is that what it's about? Well, it's manga. But live action. No, it's live action. Oh. And I can't remember his name, but the Japanese writer. <laughs> no, no, the Japanese writer maintained control. The character development, it's eight episodes. The character development is so good. You would love the one with the sea captain, the pirate, and the young kid on the island. It's not sexual. <laughs> <laughs> one piece. Go check it out. The writing is unbelievable. It's definitely got a Japanese feel. Scotch it. You. Scotch. God. Solange. Tell me. I said manga and you were like, oh, God dang. God dang.